Introducing Delta 6, a new era of design and innovation by the product engineering team at Fuji Bicycles. While most bicycle companies would like to be known as innovators, introducing the product that sets industry standards, very few actually dedicate themselves to the process. At Fuji, we are proud to continue to drive the industry. After all, we have a legacy to uphold. One that began in Japan in 1899 with the development of some of the first racing bicycles. Fuji was one of the first to build a bicycle out of double budded chromoly in the 70s and titanium in the 80s. And now our legacy continues. Take a look at our first Delta 6 project, the D6 Triathlon Time Trial Bike. It's bold, it's beautiful, and it's going to change the way you ride. Mark Smith, Senior Product Manager for Advanced Sports. The real initiative to develop the D6 concept came from our competitive edge. We wanted to develop the next level time trial or TT specific bike to just blow the competition out of the market. We had dabbled in the market for many years in alloy forms and previous designs from the range in from the 2001 to present, but we've really never taken the process to the top of the premier scale. The D6 was the first evolution in that process. What had happened though, we were originally targeting and designing the bike specifically for the time trial and triathlete market to make the lightest, stiffest, most aerodynamic bike available. What was born out of that is the Delta 6 process. The Delta 6 process became this evolution and process in how we develop a bike from concept all the way to fabrication and then out on the road for top level pro athletes to race. Stage one in the Delta 6 process begins with research. My name is Karen Bliss, I'm the Director of Marketing at Advanced Sports. Well that's the first step. I think, again, having great access to athletes and input and great engineers who, who can also do research and materials, um, that's the first step of the process, is understanding what the athletes' needs are, but also using the technology that we already have and putting that together. So research is the first step, you know, knowing the materials, knowing our capabilities, and knowing what the rider wants. Stage two, we move to concept. Concept is our, our, the second stage in our D6 process. Uh, with concept, it's, it's one of the most time-consuming time parts, but it's also one of the most fun parts. Because what we do is we take all of the research that we gather, uh, and then we take ideas that we have, and we're putting it on paper. Whether we're uh, drawing sketches to uh, just doodling with computer programs in terms of whether it's Adobe Acrobat or SolidWorks or AutoCAD, but it, it's coming up with new, new designs, whether we do our, our current designs first and then take a look at how can we manipulate the, those designs to coming up with brand new fresh ideas and trying to um, take the, the, the conceptual design to the next process. Stage three, prototype. Using rapid prototype design, RPT software, and machinery, computer models are transformed into hard plastic replicas. These replicas are built into complete bikes that are able to be structurally reviewed and tested in the wind tunnel. Aerodynamics is the, the, the main area of focus on this bike. Taking 75% um, of the aerodynamic equation is the rider and his own position. So that leaves 25% that we can work with with the bike to help him uh, or her improve their ride. First, we want to get rid of all the cabling. We want to pull all the cabling out of the wind, um, out of the frame direction, hide it behind the stem and, and the steer tube of the frame, as well as take the brake and get the brake out from the front of the bike and put it behind the fork. The UCI has some real strict guidelines in terms of uh, creating airfoils around, uh, around objects. And the nice thing is, is well, with this brake, we're definitely shielding it from the wind, but we're working within the guidelines of the UCI. What we've done is we basically left the brake in the same position. We've raised the, the seat stay area, we've raised it up so that it, it, it helps with uh, increasing that what we call skin friction. By raising those seat stays up and giving a little more structure, it not only uh, hides the brake from the wind, actually more than a traditional bike, but what it also does is aids to the stiffness of the bike. As we came up with a concept, uh, our IA, or our independent adjusting seat clamp. And what that does is most companies all use basically uh, two bolts, or they have one bolt that controls the saddle's tilt, and they have another bolt that uh, controls the, the saddle's rail compression, in other words, it keeps the saddle attached uh, to the seat clamp, 
as well as controls the adjustment for the saddle's fore aft movement. Well, what we did with our IAC post is we have a three-way independent seat clamp system. So everything is independent of one another. Stage four begins testing. Using a variety of methods, including finite element analysis, FEA, computational fluid dynamics, CFD, and wind tunnel testing, we gather structural and quantitative data. Stage five moves to fabrication. The final step in the production process is developing a fabrication procedure for the first writable samples. This involves choosing the correct materials, creating the frame mold, and detailing a layup schedule. In this case, it's only applicable for carbon frames. The final stage of the D6, which is uh, the validation of our product. Uh, the validation of our product is um, its one of our most important aspects and, and that is because it's, it's giving our product to our professional athletes and getting, uh, getting feedback that a normal consumer um, just couldn't give us. Uh, our professional athletes are so in tune with their bodies, their fit is dialed in so we're not really worried about uh, uh, that 75% uh, aspect of aerodynamics that we were talking about before because we know our riders are going to be fit on the bike properly. Now it's working with the, with the riders on the bike to say, hey look, um, do we need to do any changes? Is this bike um, uh, accomplishing all of your goals as a professional rider? Do we need to make it stiffer? Uh, is it too stiff? Do we need to make it more vertically compliant or more torsionally compliant? Does it look fast? Is the paint job a good aesthetic paint job for you? Little things like that. So our validation, even though it's uh, we spend um, less time with the validation portion of it, uh, relatively speaking, than we do on the concept and the research and uh, fabrication and prototyping and testing, but it's, it's one of the most important because that's our real feedback. Once we have the final validation from our, our professional athletes, then we know our product is ready for, for the masses. Introducing Delta 6, Fuji's advanced product development paradigm. It's singular purpose, develop new concepts into championship products. Its definitive goal to change the rules, stretch the limits, and blow some minds. Fuji Delta 6, change your ride. Hi, I'm Johnny Mosley, and we're about to give props to a guy who's starting to make a name for himself in the cycling world. We're standing outside an indoor cycling track called a velodrome in the Los Angeles area, where this young cyclist from Texas is about to get 
the surprise of his life. Meet 12-year-old Noah Williams, who's won seven state cycling championships and four medals at the national championships. And this is professional cyclist Yvonne Dominguez. He won the national cycling championship in his home country of Cuba, four gold medals at the Pan American Games, and he's the world record holder on the 4K track. Now, Yvonne's known as one of America's best sprinters. This is one guy who knows a great power cyclist when he sees one. Noah's in Southern California for Junior Nationals. He thinks that he and his team have come to the velodrome early for a special training session. Little does he know, he's about to get props. Here he comes now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the velodrome. Early morning. Which one of you guys is Noah? That'd be me. Noah, how you doing? Johnny Mosley. Congratulations, you just got props from the Cartoon Network. <laughs> you know what that means? It means that, well, you're gonna get the whole velodrome to yourself for training. No way. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Cool, let's get your gear on and let's get down on the track. It's pretty tough to get private time like this, especially with a Junior Nationals Championship this week. And it's the only indoor track in the country. But for now, it's Noah's personal playground. It's a huge thrill to get velodrome time to yourself, but Noah's got another surprise coming his way. So, uh, what do you think? It's a really nice track. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's very fast. There's one more thing. You're not going to be alone out here today. We have a special guest for you. This is Yvonne Dominguez, three-time Pan American gold medalist cyclist, won the last okay? stage of the Tour de California and a Cuban national champion. He's going to help show you how, to, how it's done. Cool. You got to use him for oh, you all the information you get. Uh, I was a track rider, so I did a track for like uh, easy 10 years. Don't, you, don't you hold your country's 4K record? Yeah, yeah, it's still. All right, so let's, uh, let's get suited up. And I've only seen him in magazines. Oh, thank you. I don't That's think cool. So. I want to wear these. Now, you can never find these in bike shops. Yeah, Team gloves are amazing. It's like the best. Ever. So it's time for Noah to show Yvonne what he's got. Huh? You wanna race? Race? Yeah. He's gonna race me. That's good. You know when you race here and you go to the through the turn, try to relax your arms, you know, go into the turn. I'm gonna be the cameraman now. Okay. Are you ready? That's fine. Okay, good. You guys proud of your teammate Noah for winning props? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Very proud of him. We might have to lower his ego a little bit yeah. after this one. <laughs> so, how'd it go? Oh, was, oh, was cool. I learned a lot of stuff. I, I learned something about him, like his favorite races and stuff. Uh -huh. uh, it, it was a lot. It was a blast. <laughs> Well, I know it's been a great day, Vaughn. It's incredible for you to come yeah. out and spend some time with Noah, but there's just one more thing. Can you believe it? After all of this, there's one more thing. Fuji, Yvonne's sponsor, wanted to give you this brand new D6. This is a prototype. This is next year's model. It's all yours. Well, we don't have those bikes yet. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't even have this bike, bike yeah. yet. It's a crazy machine. <laughs> this thing looks more like a race car. Are you stoked, man? I'm speechless. All right, good. <laughs> Okay, let's put it in, man. That was a great day. All right, one, two, three, cross. Noah Williams. Maybe one day you'll see him wearing a different uniform. The yellow jersey at the finish line of the Tour de France. <laughs>